New York City, a couple of years ago, a seemingly ordinary Chinese man walked into a bank, approached the manager, and asked him for help. The manager introduced himself, his name was Tom, he asked the guy to sit down and tell him about his problem. The man said that he would soon go to China, and he needed $1,000 for just two weeks. Tom began to talk about the terms of the loan and asked the man for documents for consideration. The manager had already begun to print the contract, but the man sharply added, You see, I don't have any papers with me, except for my driver's license and documents for the car that is parked nearby. And I don't have time to wait either. As befits any manager. Tom offered an option on what to do, we are ready to help you, but the bank requires a form of loan security. Maybe you have some options, the man, after thinking for a moment, took out the car keys and put them on the table, listen, right next to the entrance to the bank is my Ferrari, I hope this will be enough. I will leave this car as collateral as a guarantee, the manager was very surprised and could only utter the following word, wait a second, Tom left, and after 10 minutes, he agreed with the bank director that such a generous deposit would be enough. The bank gladly decided to accept the car as collateral. And soon, the man drove his Ferrari into the bank's underground garage and left it there. After which, he received his $1,000 and, wishing the staff a good day, left the bank. The next days, the employees at the bank laughed at the guy and wondered how they could take $1,000 from the bank, leaving a Ferrari as collateral for $250,000. They decided that anything can happen, maybe the guy is tight on money, or did he buy the car with his last money? Tom's manager was even named the best employee of the month and was set as an example. After all, if the guy doesn't return the money to the bank, the bank will pay back 250 times. The deal seemed more than profitable. That's what the department thought until the security service found out that that same beggar Chinese, as they jokingly called him, turned out to be a multimillionaire with a huge income, this greatly surprised and puzzled the staff. Two weeks passed very quickly, and after this time, the beggar Chinese returned to the bank, paid $1,000 and interest $5.41 and received documents on closing the loan in hand. He and Tom went down to the garage to get the car, the Chinese looked at his Ferrari from all sides, and thanked the manager, handing him $100 and saying, Take Tom, this is for you for the work done, the manager had more questions than answers in his head. But Tom plucked up courage and asked the guy a question that had been tormenting him and all the bank employees for several days, sorry, we are very glad that we were able to help you in this situation. But we are all a little puzzled, while you were away we found out that you are very rich. Why did you need $1,000 for which you left your expensive Ferrari as collateral? The answer amazed the manager, he would never have thought of such a thing, this is what the Chinese said, Tommy, you're right, I'm very rich, and I live nearby in my penthouse. But tell me, where else in New York can I leave my expensive car with a full guarantee that nothing will happen to it for two weeks? And pay only $5.41 for it? After which, the guy shook Tom's hand and drove off in his brand new Ferrari. The manager stood for another ten minutes, comprehending the situation that had just happened to him. Considering that in New York it costs $30 per hour to leave a car in a paid parking lot, you can simply calculate how many thousands of dollars the guy saved in such a simple way, very interesting story. It is not known whether this is fiction or not, but out-of-the-box thinking makes hundreds of people millionaires.